Hi everyone, this is Professor Bowen Moore. Um, this video is going to show you how to create the hotspots and test your prototype um, as you go along and create the interactivity to your app. Um, so the first thing we want to do is to be able to get into the app. So we want to definitely create a hotspot around this. So we're going to go to the design mode um, and we're going to select just the rectangle. Now it's going to probably put a fill and completely cover it up. So I'm going to go over to the far right in these little menu items. And um, if you scroll down a little bit, it'll give you normal appearance. Um, but we want a uh, no fill and no stroke weight or outline. Um, we know it's there. There's a box when we scroll over there, but it's kind of an invisible box. And so um, we know we're going to, this will probably require you to tap to get to the multiple loading pages. Um, I haven't found um, access to how to, uh, or I'm not quite sure or learned it enough to uh, quite yet to figure out the animation of just these three screens automatically. And so um, if we go to prototype, you can see there's a little box and an arrow. So when we click on that arrow, um, it's automatically going to go to the next page, but we can decide where that goes if it's not that particular artboard. Um, and then this menu over here on the right will give you what type of trigger you want here. So if we tap that icon, it's going to lead us to this loading page one. Um, and the transition, you can choose what you want here, auto animate. Um, scroll to, you know, whatever type of transition you want. Um, it is going to loading page one is the destination. Um, you can choose the animation, wh whether it's slide left, which we'll just choose that. Um, so I'm going to choose that for now. I'm going to go back to design mode here. I'm just going to go ahead and put a box around these whole pages just to make it easy. Um, I'm going to put another one here. You don't necessarily have to go back and forth between design and prototype mode. You, you know, you can, if you know where your hotspots are going to be, you can go ahead and put those out there. Like for instance, on the home page primary, I'm going to have several hotspots. I'm going to have one for the menu. Um, and I'm going to have one for this first article or the top feature story, which is the feature story we are laying out. So I'm going to make the picture a hotspot as well as the title or anything going with that. I'll just make that all clickable. Um, and so on the secondary, this is still the home page um, with the drop down menu. So obviously we want feature to be accessible from there as well. I'm also going to go ahead and do um, the logo type up here, just so if we click that um, or the menu, the menu will go away. So we'll make the destination, you know, the regular view or primary view. And then we have the feature story. So this is the home page. We want access to that. We want access to the menu if we choose. Um, we want access, depending on how you're doing your photos and captions, some students put a screen over the image if there's not in a lot of room to put the caption underneath. Um, and then it pops up if it's clicked on, that sort of thing. Definitely want the sidebar screen clickable. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just put the whole thing. And then the sidebar content is on the separate screen here. Again, I'm going to make the menu accessible. And it'll actually lead us back to the home page um, with that view viewable. And then, of course, we want to get back to the story. So I'm going to make that 
also clickable. So now I can go to prototype mode and kind of create those links from those hotspots. Um, so I've made this one um, here. Now I'm going to select this box and it'll lead to this one. And I'm just going to make it a tap for now um, and just have them slide. Well, we'll just have that none there. Okay, so we'll just do that to this one. And then from here, we're obviously going to the home page. Um, so it'll probably go towards the middle of that. And then we have this little box. Oops, you have to kind of click on the line. Um, so we want this to go, you'll have to zoom out probably. We want to lead that to this page. And we've got this box, which leads us to the feature story. And this box going goes to the feature as well. So hopefully this is kind of, you're catching on by now on how to create the interactivity. I know it seems kind of weird just dragging these lines everywhere. Um, and you can test along the way. So if I click back in out of any image or artboard, I can click the play button. And let me stop share and reshare my desktop instead. So you can see the every screen that's popping up here. So if I click this, um, you can test it. So if I click the icon, it goes to the first, second, and third screens, um, the loading screens. And now I'm in the home page primary. So I can click the menu and access the feature from there. But we haven't made that a hotspot yet. So this is why you test along the way so that you know that everything's working and that you haven't forgotten anything. Um, so obviously we need to fix that. So we want to come back here. We want to go back to design mode, create a box for feature. And then we're going to make sure that goes to feature story as well. Okay, so now we can test it again. I'm going to click out of the artboard. And now we can retest. So I can select the menu and get to the feature from there. Um, or I can select um, the the image itself or the headline of the top story and end up at the feature. And it's not really letting me zoom in at the moment. Um, so now I can get back to the home page, which I don't have that. Um, I'm gonna have to make that inter, um, active. Um, and then obviously we've got to add the rest of the items here. So we want to go back to design mode for those things. So really that's all you have to do to create the actual hotspots and um, lead back to the feature or the home page or, you know, it's just a matter of um, creating the boxes for anything that is clickable and then testing it um, in the preview stage there. So I think I've made all these hotspots down here. So from here, I'm gonna finish these out and then I'll show you the finished prototype um, and then show you how to send me the link, okay?